Educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tuesday, the January 16th edition of the Tiger Technicians Hour. We're going to get the Dow down 180 points at 37,409. Uh, there's weakness in, in certain Dow stocks, but most importantly, what we are looking at is we've got a call and we'll go straight to the core. We have got Charlie in Boston. Charlie, how are you? Good, I'm calling you back, as you told me to, on the India fund. I'd like to know where it's going. Yes, so we spoke about this. I said everything about it seems to be acting very well. Uh, it was, I think, either about to make a leg D or a peak D, and I said, no, it's get, got that, but the 9 period moving average is over the 14. That's a good sign. The MACD is good. The stochastic is getting a little overboard, but it's still acting well. And you had a very strong spike on Friday. And now IFN, which is the India fund, is trading at 19.11, down 13 cents. But it hit a new recovery high at 19.26. So what are you doing? What have you been doing? Well, I'm long this issue a year now. I'm holding and, on. Right. And the, I think if I recall correctly, what I said to you is at this particular level, the only thing I would say to you is to take just for money management is to take just a tad off just in terms of I always like that when things going your way you take advantage of it but in a very small manner you don't want to change your core positions I still like it very much I think this is in fact telling me that the rotation through different sectors different industries different countries is very active but I do think on a very short term basis the IFN should pull back but You've got a really good cushion because that whole 1850 uh, area is so far very good support. And you're at 19.11. So um, this is only a leg C in the weekly chart. In my methodology, it should pull back at some point, make a peak C, and then um, go to a leg D. And that's where you've got to be a little bit more cautious because at D, you can see what happened when it went to peak D back, I think it was October of last year. Let me just get my mouse right there. Uh, September, September, the week of the 29th, it went to 1761. Then it pulled back down to 1556. So that's quite a pullback. So I'm suspecting that this is still very strong. The weekly is starting to, uh, um, sorry, the monthly is starting to improve a lot. I'm a little disappointed that the on-balance volume is only creeping up very slowly. Uh, maybe that's a good sign because it gives a lot of room to keep moving up to overboard. But I like when they go in parallel and it's kind of lagging a little bit. So I'm going to recommend this. Um, I think the reason why you called me is just to check in to see if there's anything that I see that says be a little bit careful and the only thing that says to me, be a little bit careful right now, is that I, I'm feeling that the general market, and I have to say that different sectors are doing completely different things. I mean, that uranium sector that I spoke about, for, I've been speaking about for weeks and weeks and weeks, I mentioned again on Friday. Look at that. That is a, a spot uranium minus ETF. Huge moves over the last uh, two, three days. So... Even here, I'm looking at and saying, oh, I'm getting a little bit overboard. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little digestive phase this week. But I'm a little reluctant to do. I mean, you're in it for a year to mess around. I I don't want to do that. I, I think you, you got in correctly. You did everything. You did your homework. I don't really want to be the, the proxy for getting you out early. So all I'm going to say is consider... Your, your situation in terms of, of it being a, a pretty long-term buy and hold, therefore, there's no. Uh, if you've got separate money that you can add to it at any point, that's fine, but it might make your position in, in one issue a little bit too heavy. If that's the case, think it through. And at this point, at 19.10, 
And right here, I'd say, I, I don't have any qualms saying to you, I don't want to mess with your position, but if you're asking for advice, I'm going to suggest that if you can take just a little bit off here at 19.10, regardless of how low it actually goes, I would just say I'm going to prepare to put it back at 18.42, something like that. So uh, not even a point lower, but at least it gives you a nice percentage gain. And if you get in lower, it actually gives you a nice cost average if it then starts another leg to the upside in the weekly chart. Because I, I can see this. The resistance is going to be at about 20.30. That's what I'm looking at longer term. And that's a point and a half. So that's about another 5 or 6%. So that's the only thing I would say to you. I like it, IFN, India Fund. Now, it's completely different to the INDA, which is the iShares India ETF, which has a, a different kind of personality. It's already very close to its all-time high. So I'm dealing with just the one that you have, and the one that you have is the IFN. And that one, as I say, is a slightly different Character it hasn't the all-time high was up in the 23s plunged down to the uh, to the 14s and here it is at 19 is a different it's just a different formation so that's that's the, all all that I can say I like it all I would do is take a little money off and I'd actually plan to put that back about three quarters of a point or maybe even a point lower and that'll just make it'll keep making your cost your overall cost average um, really good. I, okay. I don't know if that helps you. Yes, thank you very much, Basil. And congratulations. You've really done a very thank nice you. job in this. Call again. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Thank you. So uh, I had another question. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i get to the market in a moment. Myrna is uh, Moderna. Uh, Biotech, COVID, done, it was the favorite all the way to the 497 level in August of 2021. A little bit of a pullback coming all the way down to the uh, uh, 60 area. But now it's had a 40% gain. I mean, this is really good. Actually, more than that, it went to 100 and, 115, 116. Let me give you the exact figure right here. Uh, double top, Chapman Wave 2 bar reversal, 115.81 and 115.97 um, in uh, January the 8th this year. And now it's pulling back a nice little digestive phase after running all the way above the 200 period moving average. So, um, yeah, I, I like it very much, but I do think that this has had a fabulous move from the 60 level to 100 and, 115. Well, you know, that's uh, that's a big that's a big point move. That's 40, 55. It's it's almost a double. Uh, you know, after a double, you'd expect some kind of a digestive phase, and that's what it's in. I tell you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it between 92 and 88. That's going to be key. If it can get there and then hold steady, that might be where you might want to add to it. But in the meantime, I'm looking at this and saying it's it's in a re, this has to be treated as a retracement uh, mode. Now, I don't know if this is just a brand new buy. I'm going to have to give it all of this week before I can say the weekly chart has gone from a, a maybe a buy signal to a buy mode. At this point, it isn't a buy signal. I don't have conviction yet that it's got a buy mode, that it's going to go to the 120s, not just yet. I think it needs to digest this huge gap. Hope that helps you. I'll be back and we'll go through all the all the different indices as soon as I return. I am a little upset that the XLF, they're actually taking a bit of a dive here, but it's had a good run. I'll be back. That was up, uh, down 152. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Just checking on this uh, left side, right side price tie match because I can't use the plumb line that I want on the E-mini. And it has a target right now, very close, right there. I'd even say it could re retest the 4805 area. It's at 4803 right now. Um, going to just also say, here's the 200 period moving average. Look out. In the five minute chart, it allowed the price to go over it, but that was still a, a repellent zone. But it was an exact repellent zone in the 10 minute chart in the E mini. Going to watch this very closely. And it's just incredible how there is selling every day, and yet there's just something that says, you know what? You can sell as much as you want, but I want to come in as helping the market. And that's what happens every day. And I'm using the Dow as an example. <clears throat> Uh, you know, Apple comes down, you've got uh, Microsoft goes up, uh, you've got this balancing act all the time, Boeing is weak, and all of a sudden you'll find some strength maybe in, a, uh, in, a, in one, of the, one of the Dow type stocks, and that's the same thing that happens in the S&P, it's the same thing that happens in the Qs. Look, the Qs were down quite sharply, uh, one, two, three. Uh, and now they're only down 10, so, oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing, let me just put this, it's the right thing but the wrong chart. Uh, that's the one minute chart. I don't need that right now. Oh, e S H two four. Get that back in. Okay, so let's just run these numbers. We've got uh, the Dow. So, oh, what I was saying is the XLF. That's the financials. A little bit of topping action. Remember, I call this distribution. <clears throat> we don't know if it's distribution because if there's a spike. Is at 37.32, down 28 cents. The S&P Select Financial Spider Fund, it made a new recovery high in the 38.01-ish area, uh, a double topping over the last two weeks. Leg E, maybe a peak E today in the uh, weekly chart, and a nice leg B, all within kind of a sideways movement within the, uh, both the weekly and the monthly 
higher highs and higher lows. Wow, that that is just so important. So, um, so within that context, let me do a couple of things here. I just need to check. First of all, I've got a question that came in. Yes, I will. I'll put that in my notes here. Let's see. Here. Okay, got it. Okay, so let's just run this. I want. I, I've been very happy that the XLF has rallied this this well <clears throat> so far, but it's really important that it, even if there's a pullback, it needs to be in the wheelhouse of higher highs and higher lows. It's really important. So there we go. The Dow. Coming back a little bit from the day's low, it's down only 120 right now at 37,471. Have a look at this. This is what I showed subscribers to my opening call. Now, we are short the Dow, not aggressively short on the short term. Long term, we have you know, entries that go back to March of 2020, uh, June, uh, October of 2022. But short term, yep, we're short. And it did make an all-time high on Friday, not a problem. But look at this. This is Chapman Wave automated uh, resistance. Look how many resistance. I've Actually, I don't recall ever seeing this before. Look how the prices contain the black 14 period move. Uh, sorry, the black um, automated Chapman Wave resistance levels all the way to 37.930, starting from 37.708. And yeah, we are at 37.486. So those are all resistance levels. And here the support, the red ones are all the support levels. It went underneath it, but then there's a whole, I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. And one of the reasons is we went sideways for so long. And sideways action, this is what I call the a part of the distribution uh, uh, range at, at highs, mm, you gotta watch that. And it says that the longer it lasts, the more important that key support level has to break down before this can really tumble. Otherwise, it's. It could, in fact, be a high-level consolidation ready to break to the upside. <clears throat> I would find that a little difficult right now because there are a lot of stocks that just need a bit of a breather. So let's get out of that and we'll go to... Hmm, interesting that the voice is playing games here. Let me have my tea. Okay, that should be better, I think. Okay, great. Now, let me just do this for a moment. Uh, where do we go? Right there. I need to go back to Tiger Chat. I need to see questions that are coming in. And as I do that, here we go. <clears throat> so, Dow is down 106. You can see every time there's selling for the last week, oh, buyers have come in. Every time there's buying, sellers have come in. Just, it's quite extraordinary at this level that is at all time highs. All right, here we go. S&P. S&P right now is down nine, come back, coming back quite nicely from the uh, 47.51 low. And even more important than that is this is, if there's a lower high today below the 47.98.50 level, I've got to check. I don't think I updated that on Friday. 48.02.40. Whoa, way, way, way off. 48.02.40. There you go. So if we if we don't break about 48.02.40 today, it means that I can do the measurement. I don't want to do it until I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of it right now because I don't want to presuppose anything. What happens here? Well, the stochastic's back at 83%. That's good. It's not as good as it was. And the 9 is still over the 14. MACD is deflected. It's negative. It's kind of almost deflecting lower. But I'm going to take this away because I want the full day to go before I can place that in. So we're watching the 4802.40 level this week. The break above that's really important. But actually, <clears throat> even more important is the 4818.62 all-time high. Are we going to get there? We are so close. Okay, QQQ. One, two, three. Uh, it's the same thing here. This Now that... Could be a G slash B, and then this will become a new uh, an, an notation in the Chapman Way. But 412.92 was the high on the 28th of December. We haven't taken that out, and yet the QQQs have held very well. They just haven't had that extra impetus to go to another all-time high. And the weekly chart has gone to an F slash B, and it just needs just a 
112.93 starts a new leg C or G slash C, and it extends the monthly so that January says we've extended leg B. You can't get a peak B until all of February. You can't get a leg C until all of March. So all of that says very positive action looking out, but the shorter term says got to be a little careful your IWM. Uh, here's the proof of the pudding, 125 down at 191.90. It's making low lows and low highs. It's not really failing, but that nine-period moving average for three sessions has gone pink. I've got to watch it real closely. Now, I need just to spend a moment on this. If you're going to go to gold, it's all very well going to gold, which is down eight, but it's the GDX that I really want to follow because this is the gold miners. And I might be wrong about this, but I, over the years, decades actually, I remember when the XAU back in 2000, 2000 or 2001 was at 45, 46. I remember getting a buy signal and I said, good. And then I remember looking late, much later on, trying to get the, uh, the implication of if the miners lead, is that positive or is it gold that needs to lead? I think there's always been, I want to see the gold miners lead because it means now they see profits. Now this is the real thing in action. So I'm not happy about the GDX at this point. And let's go to silver. Let's go to silver. Silver is down 21. I'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So I was looking at silver, and silver uh, at 22.11. 
was down for 2-1 and uh, also not acting all that well. If you look at high-grade copper, where did I type that? Did I type that in the wrong place? No. Yes, I did. So let me type it over here at HG. High-grade copper, making lower lows and lower highs. Uh, let's look at just for argument's sake is to say um, there is strength somewhere uh, and it's rotating. Well, it had been in wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF. Uh, that's gone to a peak ABC. This is a C in the weekly chart. This is a an F, D E F, yep, F in the daily chart. And the weekly, weekly chart actually has good technicals, and the monthly chart has been improving. So that says, yeah, you might have high grade copper kind of stalling. But in the relationship of high-grade copper, remember Dr. Copper, we like to think of it that way because it's an international <clears throat> uh, building material function. And wood, of course, the ice shares timber and forestry, that is also international. That's important. So that's, that's, that's holding well. It's not great right now, but it's actually holding pretty well. And I want you to add Builder, just because we're talking about building. Uh, Builder is the Builder's First Source Inc. Building Materials. Uh, manufacturing comp components, leg D in the monthly chart, a peak G slash B in the weekly, but still with really good, te really good technicals, and almost a little kind of head and shoulders here in the daily chart, but holding really well. Only dollar fifty down today <clears throat> at one sixty five, all time highs and just over one seventy. This is holding really well. Let's just do Toll Brothers because I want you to give you a picture of what. To me, has been working what hasn't been working, and what I'm really watching. So, Toll Brothers. Let me just get that up there. There it is. Toll Brothers trading at 100.46, uh, making this like a distribution rectangle formation right here. Uh, in the weekly chart, in the daily chart, the weekly chart is holding very well. Monthly chart has gone to a leg D, and this is really important. Why? Because the TLT is pulling back. And yields are going higher. Look at crude oil. I had said before, if we see crude oil going higher, yields go higher, and the dollar going higher, that could say, mm, market, watch out, because there are things going on here that are really important that are the big picture. But look what we've got. We've got crude oil just stuck in this range. Just, uh, you know, I've got these fib numbers. And right now, I'm not interested in those fib numbers. So let me get out of this. Uh, it's just gone sideways. And the weekly chart is been making lower lows and lower highs. And the 200 period moving average, it had a good bounce, but now it's taken three weeks to break above it, and it hasn't. So it's just kind of stuck. Um, so as I'm looking at now, let's just go back to the semis, because we had a position, we have a short position in the semis. We also today, <coughs> which had really fabulous gains. Today, we took another little bit of a short position. Small. It's an aggressive position, but a small and we got stopped out quite quickly, actually. It's one of the first times we've been stopped out of this, in this particular uh, SOXS. Um, and that says to me, hey, have some respect for what's going on here. Not everything is turning down. There is still residual strength. You can see there is residual strength because Microsoft just made a new <clears throat> all-time high at 394.03. It's trading right now at 392.24. And... Um, so this rectangle that went from a lowercase h to a lowercase m successfully because it held, look at this trend line, I don't like to have too many lines here, but I'll put this in because that's something that I was monitoring since we are long. All right, we're long from the 338 level. Look at that, it held it beautifully. In fact, I wanted to do this, I thought, oh man, that's going to get so messy. I should have done it, I should have done it for myself because that would have, We've already had trading positions, but I would have had another one based on this. Look, it went to the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. How about that? Look, green, pink, and there it is. It went right in, and it springboard, boom, and now it's at an all-time high. Um, and that, to me, is really good. So you've got this at an all-time high. You've got Apple. Pulling back sharply down three at 182.76. You've got Nike in the Dow, also in the Dow. Nike down sharply, well, not so sharply, just down two points at 102.93, down 2.03%. 2 
But there's this little dreaded H right there. Going to be watching this very closely. If it closes under 100, anytime this week, that's going to say, uh-oh, that's going to impact the Dow a little bit. So I needed just to look at that. And I also wanted to say, look, Intel, Intel, uh, which is in the Dow, is holding quite nice. It's up a penny at 47.13. And it's one of the, one of the weaker uh, semiconductors historically. But over the last year, it's really come to, to life. And it's really saying, hey, I have a product now that is now at least in demand. It wasn't so much before when I was plunging from the 70s down to the 25 level. Now I've got something a little different. So, okay, we got that. Next question came in, and that was a question I wrote it down. Thank goodness. Oh, DocuSign. DocuSign is D-O-C-U. DocuSign is down 52 cents. Ooh, did I forget to notate that? So that I have is an F right there. F. And the question is, is this a G that fails, or does it fail right away? So this is DocuSign DOCU trading at uh, 62.94, down 64 cents on the 15th of December. It went to 64.76. 64. 64.76. On the Friday, was that the 12th? Yep, the 12th of January, it went to 64.70. So, so far, it's just missing in the, the previous high. This is a stock that had a chapter with two bar reversal at 340.76. Next month, 340.70. Almost the same difference as what we're looking at here, except there is a difference between 314 and 64. So, with that said, I love the fact this is you know, when I had my webinar uh, last month and I, I was talking about the rotation that says, some of those real laggards are going to start to become leaders. They've already started becoming leaders, but they are horribly off their lows. This is one off their highs. I'm sorry, all time highs. This is one of those, together with uh, uh, Myrna, um, Moderna, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, a couple, right? So, what we, uh, Shopify, a lot of those. So this is something to watch. This is a pattern that I've often looked at and said, this is a fascinating pattern because it has, on the one hand, it has Chapman Wave right there, falling axe formation. And then on the other hand, it has a lopsided gravy cup. Remember, instead of just a plain old cup, it's lopsided. And it goes from here to there. And it tries to get back and test to test the all-time high, oh, sorry, the, the left side high. Um, so I like what, uh, so question about Dr. Sai, I like it. I like it very much. I think it's in this category that in this kind of little bit of a shakeup that you're seeing in the general market as some stocks that were fantastic, take quite a bit of a feature, and other stocks that have been good continue higher, and you've got those stocks that are just coming on strong, this is in that category. So yes, it could pull back to uh, uh, 59, 57, that area. But I like it right now. I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks, we're back, and uh, so this is something that uh, I'll. Oh, change a request to ARM, ARM. Uh, request from ARM to BAC, no problem with God. Okay, so let me just say, DocuSign, and in the Tiger YouTube, we got covered, so let me just see if I can get that back. Uh, talking about covered, I'll talk, about, I'll talk about some funny things. It was not so funny for the people involved, but it's funny. I'll talk about it. I better put it down. Um, covered. I bet I'll put covered and I'll say, what did I mean by covered anyway? Um, so R Rochelle says, ANET. So I think, great. Let's just see ANET because I wanted to put together a couple of things here. ANET. <clears throat> oh, no. Arista. This is the exact opposite. So this is Arista Networks uh, trading at 256 up 450. This is in the category which I was saying a little earlier on that did fantastic and is continuing to do fantastically like a Microsoft. So Arista Network, uh, I believe this is an all time high at 256. I need to open this up a little bit just to make sure because the other one was net. So I'll get there and let me see. Yes, uh, Arista Network, fabulous. Hey, congratulations, Rochelle. You like to pick the ones that really keep moving. Congratulations, good eye, good technique. But we are looking at, was it net? Let me just check. Yeah, they are. So net is Cloudflare Inc. So that made this peak D double top, peak E doji candle top in the uh, weekly chart. And what's really important about it, this was once at 220. I wonder if there was a round number high. 221.64 was the all time high in November 2021. That's a little bit of a tumble down to 39. And now it's trading at 79. So that's a, that's a nice percentage gain. But look at this, it's starting to tire, it's starting to weaken a little bit, it's starting to say, yeah, I need, I need a bit of a breather. And that's what I'm saying. So this is the rotation that we're looking at. So together with Docu, it almost fits the same category that it's had a fabulous run. Actually, the Docu chart, because of Thursday and Friday of last week, is a much better looking chart. It, and it's suggesting that there should be some pullback. Now, this is where I'd normally say take a little bit off for money management. I don't think I want to take a little bit off at this point. I want to see if it's able to actually hit 65 this week because it's showing independent strength. It could be takeover talks. It could be anything, a DocuSign. You know, we've talked about it for years and years and years. So enough with that. So I need to just finish a couple of things. Look, the TLT, the TLT is pulling back. 
That means that the TBT, and that's basically yields, are routing in leg C. So that's A right there, A. Chapman wave methodology, identify the lower slope, count each successively, higher peak, that's the easy part. Leg C right now, alphabetize them sequentially. <clears throat> And it's not a big deal. I mean, you're looking at something that was in the 44, 45 area uh, back in uh, the weekly chart right there. That was back in, uh, in, uh, in the fall of last year. And then fall was the word because it came tumbling down to the 28, 29, uh, 29 level. And now it's at 32.44. So this is a balance. It is impacting the green nine period moving average in the daily, but not the weekly. That, ah. Uh, you never get that to cross positive unless you start to see the TBT ultra short Neiman 20 year treasury bond ETF up in the 3550 area. That's what it's going to take. That's another three points, another 10 percent higher. So this is what I'm saying. Yes, you've got some independence. Yes, we had uh, we wanted we've been uh, after my webinar. We've been wanting to buy certain areas that have been weak and that show potential for strength certain areas that have been very strong that have the potential to continue their strength. And in that category, I have to put, the, I'll do it again, I have to put uranium. I don't know, I, I, I suspect, I know why, and I've been talking about why I think it is, but that's not the issue. The issue is that, uh, is this an all-time high? Oh, it's not long enough. To, no, it's not in this because it goes, well, what is uh, CCJ, which is Kamiko, uh, Kamiko Corporation Uranium Fuel, at 50.48, I think the all-time high was in the 55.56 area, 44.81. There yeah, well, 56 round number high back in June of 2007. So isn't that uh, uh, fascinating? You've got crude oil. Yeah, not so. I'm just kind of meandering. But you've got uranium on a tear to the upside. There's something's going on. Is trading very nicely high on 164.46 was the high back in November of 2021. Made a beautiful cup formation. It's trading right now at 158.53. So that's still, you know, six, seven points away from the all time high. <clears throat> but that breakout is really important. And that's the reason why I cannot dismiss the SMHs. So um, we are still short. But I'm not going to mess around. If it means that we have to cover it still up very nicely from our entry point, um, I'm, I'm watching it very closely. Because as I say, when you have a bifurcated market, when you have a market that shows uh, a chance of um, being swayed by a couple of stocks enough, even though the other stocks are weak or strong, whatever it is, to give it a bias, in this case, a bias of trying to come back. Now, I mean, with all this going on, Boeing pulling back very sharply, uh, the Dow is still only down 114 points. Uh, look at this, Boeing down 7%. Oh, wow. Oh, I mean, you'd like to say, oh, man, would that be a great short and all that. But you're also talking about people, you know, people in the cabins of these aircraft. This is not, you know, you don't want to wish that Boeing is going to go down from 202 now to the 100 level because that's going to imply a lot of terrible things. Anyway, let's get off that and let's just go straight to question that came in. Could I look at um, BAC? So BAC, which we, we are long, uh, is down 66 cents at 32.13. We're, we're long under uh, 32. <clears throat> And we took very nice profits on a small position as it was making the peak D right there, second peak right there, that D right there, 34.68, um, beginning of January. Now what we're looking at is it's at 32.15, and it's a peak C in the weekly chart. That monthly chart is now starting to mm, lose its upside momentum, even though the MACD has crossed positive. I'm watching this very closely. So the question is, now, I can't remember if you wanted to get in. Um, yeah, so let me do this. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Let's just treat it as if it's absolutely fresh. I better put this down for the next question, get it all ready. Yeah, so WBA. I, I'd say to you, I'd wait a little bit. You remember that was when it was in the 3380s? <clears throat> 3469 was the recent high. 
I would like to hold it. Therefore, we've taken a little bit off our, <clears throat> we've taken a little bit off that gain that we had, and a little bit off today in a partial stop above our entry point. So we've taken another bit off, and now I've got. I can lower the entry point. <clears throat> I can lower from our entry point. I can take a little bit more. I can take a loss, just to give it room. And that's all I'm doing. I'm I'm suspicious of this. I don't like the fact that uh, the 200 period moving average quickly became a magnet. It was pushing away from it in the weekly chart. Now it's back there, 32.13, just underneath that. I'm watching it, and I'm just going to say, hold off. Don't do anything with Bank of America. I don't think you got in. I think you were looking to get in, and I said to you, wait. I'm going to recommend wait another day or two. I'll be right back. Dow's down 133. S&P's down four. Big divergence there. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN. 
educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So just to clarify, yes, we remain short the doubt. Now, the other thing is that WBA, which is <clears throat> Wolverine Boots, I said, be real careful. I liked it to, for the for a rally. I did not actually put a, a bid in for us, for our subscribers. Uh, back in the, the 2021 area, it ran all the way to 26, and now it's down to 23. Hold off. I know you've got a question about it. I would just hold off a little. Uh, let's look at it tomorrow again. I, if it takes out the left side low, I'm going to be worried about it. If it holds, maybe it's got another bounce in it, but I would not do anything now. And the VIX index, as you're about to go to Steve Rose's next show coming up, uh, the VIX index is down, is up 83, down at 1353, down from the high of 1418. I do not like when you're making an all-time high. And almost the next day, the VIX index screams to the upside that's just too quick. It means that people are just getting too quick to be nervous. So I would like to see the VIX index actually close uh, below 13.40 today and make a little lower low and then slowly move to the upside into the 16s over the next three, four, five sessions. Hey, have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter.